The worst cheaters ever. But every day when you leave for work, a Nissan parks three houses down. What's going on guys? Shy Clips here once again. And this is going to show some wild clips of the worst cheaters I can find. Now, sorry if my voice is a bit off. I'm actually really sick, which is why I haven't been uploading. But let us just jump in this first clip, which I found absolutely insane. Basically, there is this guy. He comes home to find this on his girlfriend's rug. He is super smart and observant for doing this. Personally, I wouldn't have ever thought of doing this. I guess he ended up noticing something and he turned out to be right. I just found out my bitch fucking around on me. I get to the spot to go use the restroom. Look what I see. Look what I see. What's that? Look at that. Air Force Ones. Who the fuck she got in here with Air Force Ones? She talking about ain't nobody been here. I Man, look how fresh that shit look right there. That look like like that nigga might be in the closet or something, bro. Behind the behind the shower curtains, like well, come on, bro. Look at that shit. That that's a fresh motherfucking shoe mark, man. Like fucking my hoe, man. And this next one I just had to add in this clip, basically there's this guy, he's on a date with a woman. And let me just say, he ends up finding this huge list of guys on her phone who she's been with. And it's listen to her commentating in the background, this guy's absolutely lost and you could tell he's definitely not liking this at all. Do you think I'm a hope? I don't care, like... I said no. Okay. But don't keep the name because they're from here. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. And some guy, I didn't know the name, so I said like car, red car. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, Boyd Bar, like on the street. Anyway. In this next one, I guess I do feel bad for this guy. I'm not sure why this guy is recording him. He has no right to, but this ended up happening. You get stood up? Did you get stood up? She's coming? I'll make you the peace and quiet. Oh, okay. Alright, that's enough. That was a simple question. No. And this next one, we have this husband who's actually on a date with the woman. And I guess this woman realized he was married. So he ends up recording him to expose him. And he ends up not trying to show his face. At least the food looked good. <laughs> And this next one, I guess, is guys asking this girl if she would ever cheat. And let me just say she gave the perfect answers ever. This girl is definitely a keeper, that's for sure. You had to cheat on me with one guy in the world, who would it be? You had to cheat. I'm not a cheater. If you had to cheat. I'm not a cheater. If you had to, or else I died, who would it be? Your dad. <laughs> In this next week, guys, gotta let me know who's right or wrong. Basically, there's this woman. She ends up actually saying that she wants this man who she's only been on one date with to actually pay for her kid's meal as well. Who's not even there, by the way. Her kids are not even there on the date. But she wants him to pick up steak for them and pay for them. And this guy, I guess, is getting super mad at that. That he doesn't want to continue the date anymore. Except everybody disagrees with him. Personally, I don't think he's wrong. It's not his kids. Why is he paying for them? And I'm not even there. So, like, why? But let me know what you guys think of the clip. I'm actually very curious. <laughs> This is so what happened at the end of the day. Do something for you, but Part not do something for your kids. Whatever. No, I, want you I ain't need sure metro that, kids. I want you to make sure that my kids eat too. Man, y'all see this, man? Look, I'm time. recording this. Look, y'all see this shit, bro? Right? I'm recording, bro. Hey, she's going back to the kitchen. Hey, hey, yo. Get her. Get her. Hey. Yo. Hey, yo. Hey, don't put that order in. Hey, don't put that order in. That made my kids. Don't put that order in. Don't put that order in. That made my kids. For real, like I'm about to give me my check. I want just my check with my with my with my. You know what I'm saying? I want my check. Okay, don't put them kids on my bill. Them ain't my kids. You know what I'm saying? Them ain't my kids. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to put a bill on me. Them ain't my kids. Now, this is the part where he actually starts asking people if he's in the right or wrong. And to be honest, everybody says he's in the wrong. I don't understand why. This is the first day he'd even be the kids yet. And this is the kind of reaction he gets. I would be running for the hills as well. Hell no, nah, bro. She's trying to put a bill on me and that made my kids. I'm late to the date. She's trying to make me get some food for her and her kids. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? You're late. It's my first date. I ain't even met the kids yet. You're late. I'm late. I got to buy them steak. She said steak and two chicken tenders. Come on, y'all. Y'all ain't on my side. <laughs> ain't nobody on my side, man. Hey, it's cool, though. It's cool, though. Whatever. It's cool, though. She gonna, take that, she gonna take that shit off. 
Yeah, I'm checking that shit off. Nope, I ain't paying for your kids. Yeah, I ain't paying for your kids. Yeah, an eight year old and a five year old. They both gonna eat good. Probably got a big head ass son, just like your big head ass. They both gonna eat good. Look how big her head is. Her son got a big head too. I ain't feeding your big ass son. Nope. Nope. And this next one, I guess his girlfriend's going into detail about how her mom cheated on her husband with 20 men. And the story continues. And I guess the guy ended up finding new love again, her, her father. And I was really happy to hear that, but she doesn't seem happy about him. And she ends up hating him at the end of the story. And I don't think that she has a right to, to be honest. My mom cheated on my dad with like over 20 guys or something. It was crazy. He wanted to stay. They've been together 14 years, six kids together. You know, it's like you want to work it out. But my mom didn't want to work it out. My dad went to jail. Him and my older sister got in a scuffle and she called the cops on him. So it was pretty traumatic just being kind of abandoned like that. And then he met my stepmom. Her and I were arguing because I tried to come out as bisexual and I was like, dad, are you going to stick up for me? And he was like, I can't go against my wife. I love her more than you. And this next one, I guess this woman caught her man cheating on her, except she had a little secret of her own that she ends up exposing throughout the clip. I guess karma really does suck, doesn't it? I don't care, bro. You always f***ing. Why the f*** you recording me? That sh ain't this bro, and I'm not coming back. Cheating that mother. Don't you be cheating on him? I don't give a f I cheat on this motherfucker all the time, but I ain't never got caught doing that shit. So the shit don't count. I don't give a f I'm gonna go. And this next one, this is definitely bad. And I think a red flag, to be honest. Basically, this girl is at a dentist and she's on anesthesia. And let's just say, well, she's on drugs and she ends up letting out a big secret about her man's best friends that I think you should be definitely cautious about. Loopy, okay? Finally, I can breathe. Ew, babe. You look cute. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, baby. But not better than your friend. Your friend who be having on them gray basketball shorts be swinging. I be like... Yo, shawty with the gray short. Uh, uh, uh. You like, said to make her feel loopy. Yes, loopy, yeah. your friend. Fine. Loopy. I wish loopy. I would have got with your friend before I got with you because you the ugly friend and I didn't even know. And this next one, you guys gotta let me know what you guys would do. I would be fuming. And this next one, it's definitely a joke, or maybe it's not. This can actually be real. Basically, I guess this man doesn't want his girlfriend leaving the house, but she ends up doing it anyways, and this ended up happening when he called her. I thought you said your man said you couldn't go out. Girl, he not my dad. He don't tell me what to do or where I could go, what time I have to be home. I'm a grown-ass woman. That's him! That's him! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit. In this next one, this best friend is absolutely insane. Basically, she realized her friend is at a library with her boyfriend. And I guess she thinks that they're cheating on her with, the, with each other. And you could just tell that this friend is super self-conscious when she has no reason to be. She's just absolutely delusional. I said, I just don't get why you were you on the, on the phone with my boyfriend. Because we were in Spanish together and we were studying. No, but you were on the phone with him for an hour. It was like from four o'clock to five o'clock. It was a schedule. That's why we, it was after school. I don't give a shit. You had like, you could have just studied with me or something. You're not even in Spanish. Oh my like God. French. You do this all the time. Like you do this every time. Like every time. Every time, time what? You every do time? this. You do this every time. You like budge in and it's pissing me off. Budge like, in? I was studying with him for an hour. Like you think you're such hot shit, dude. It's annoying. Are you f serious? You had no reason to call him. We literally just talked about Spanish. And I'll find the other guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.